morning welcome back to my channel i'm she string jane and i talk about all things thrifty frugal and money saving and i'm starting my day just by sitting on my bed because izzy is here and she's working downstairs i'm keeping out of her way um i'm just trying to pull together today all the bits of random bits of videoing that i've done over the last I don't know, few days so i thought i would do that but um, for some reason this morning i woke up i do this a lot at the moment woke up at quarter to five and I tried my very best to get back to sleep and I couldn't. And in the end, Archie was, I think I disturbed him and he was demanding to go out. Quarter to six, he was barking up the garden. My neighbours must be cross with me this morning, but he had a scent of a fox or something. I made myself a smoothie this morning using some mixed fruit, frozen fruit, that it was just got too many black currants and red currants in it. I think I've got it from Aldi or somewhere. And it's so sour that it's no good just stewed and put on porridge or yogurt which is what I usually do with it so I thought because I had the bananas that Izzy brought back that I froze I would I got them out first thing so they were more or less defrosted I put this in frozen so this is like a frozen smoothie it's really cold it'd be nice on a, a really hot day it's not a really hot day today it is cloudy it's not bad though it's not raining grateful for small mercies so in a minute, me and Archie are going to go out for a walk. But what I've been doing, because I got up so early, I've just been going through, you know, when you, if any of you resell, you'll know this, when you have bags of stuff that you just ignore because they feel too difficult to list and you, you don't know about them or they're boring or something like that. The other day I pulled out a couple of boxes full of this stuff that I didn't know how to handle out of the garage just to make some space to put some stuff I had listed in there and I'm dealing with it now while I'm looking at it. I don't know why I put these in here and ignored them, they're not bad. Boxes are a little bit, I don't know, bent and damp. The Gordon Ramsay mugs, I don't, they've never been out of the box, they look as if they're brand new. I've got two of them actually. I didn't pick these up such a long time ago and I think the reason I didn't list these was because I thought Chloe might want them. And they're actually quite nice mugs and she just moved into a new flat. Actually, she said she bought herself a load of mugs and they're very dusty. And they're quite nice though. And she didn't need them, so I didn't give them to her. And I shoved them in a box and forgot all about them. So there are two lots of those I've got to sell. These, they were vintage, vintage Christmas ornaments. But honestly, before I could list them, I kept breaking them. I think actually they're all broken now. <laughs> I put them in here to, to move house. I literally think the others are broken. Oh, no, I've still got some. Ah, ha, ha, here we go. Aren't they sweet? I've still got three left. I did start with six. Now I have three. And I think there's some bits of one that I broke at the bottom. So they're just so, so delicate and fragile to the point where I think maybe I should just keep them and use them because I can't imagine that I'm going to be able to post those in one piece because as I say, they're so, so fragile. They're just delicate, delicate glass. And they must be from, what, the 60s, I reckon? So let's see, I might, I'll have to think about those. I've got to do something with all these things. And then I just picked up these Project Homework books. I don't know if they've got any value. Key Stage 2, ages 7 to 11. We've got Tudors, Victorians, Egyptians. Romans and World War II. Well, they're always doing that, aren't they? I don't know when this, these were published. These were a recent acquisition, actually. Just can pick them up. They were 90. Because the thing is, if they're too old, oh, no, they are old. If they're too old, they're kind of irrelevant, aren't they? But I think they still do some of this. These are 1994. They are old. Vintage school homework project books. <laughs> don't know if they've got any value. Probably not. And then... Again, the, Justin gave me these. These must have been his, I reckon. We have a Beano book from 1979, a Dandy book from 1973, a Beano book from 1995, and another Dandy from 1976. Amazingly, these, well, I, I'm not amazingly. I mean, you think, because I think of them from my childhood, and I think, oh, they should have the biggest value because they're so, I don't know, they bring back lots of nostalgia and memories. But when you look, they're hardly worth anything. I'll sell them as a bundle, but they're not worth very much. They're actually in quite good condition, though, which condition makes a difference with books. 
and quite often they've got like children's scribbles and things on them that one didn't this one doesn't seem to have any either so hopefully they're in decent condition but i'll get a few pounds for them anyway and the other thing i, got, I think i must have picked these up for myself but never used them they are chicken placemats gisella graham um and they are brand new in the in the box and with the cellophane but the cellophane's slightly marked so um well it doesn't really affect them does it only affects if you're going to give them as a present or something like that so anyway those are the things i've found that i've been ignoring and there were some other things as well that i have actually listed or i've put aside for boot sale pile um so two things i've got to do in the next few weeks i need to organize a date to do a boot sale with my mum which will be selling most of her stuff um i've been going through it actually, i've got to go through it properly because there's so much of it I can't fit it all in my car. She doesn't have a car. Um, unless I can get one of the other members of my family to help and bring some stuff as well. I don't think I can do it in one go. And I'm not doing more than one boot sale. I don't particularly enjoy selling at boot sales. Mum does, so I'm, I'm just helping her out. And um, I've been told that in our town, we might be having a garage sale trail. So I wish I could find out about that. It seems very last minute. I think last they had one last year and it was very last minute. I only found out about it really a few days before and I was already doing something so I couldn't even go around and have a look. But this time I'd like to sell my stuff in it. So I've been putting stuff aside thinking boot sale, garage sale, trail, I don't know. Talking of which, me and Becky, my eldest daughter, did a garage sale trail in the town next to us um, at the weekend and it was really fun. So I'll show you a bit of that. I didn't do any filming of the trail because... Becky was with me and she doesn't like being filmed, but I can show you what I picked up afterwards. So I'm just getting ready to go out to a garage sale and the sun's come out. I probably won't film much because I'm with Becky and she's a bit sh camera shy. So I'll try and film a little bit and then I'll show you what I got when I get back. <laughs> Excuse my slightly dishevelled appearance. I am back from a garage sale and a garage sale trail I should say and we did spend quite a few hours just walking around this village it's quite a large village almost a town but really hasn't got anything that you would judge it to be a town for and got quite a few nice things so I didn't film hardly anything I think I've just remembered at one stall because we were just going around and say Becky doesn't like being filmed so um, that restricts me but also then I just did forget let me show you what I picked up anyway the nicest thing i think i got today was this mason's regency plates and they've been turned into a cake stand and aren't they lovely i got two she said oh if you like those i've got two cake plates to go with that as well so she ran back and got those which are here somewhere yes so two matching plates i just think what a nice pattern that is and what lovely colours I do like those colours but as you can see they don't really go in my house Mason's patent ironstone regency made in England there you go so I think that's probably the thing that I like the most and I got another cake stand and I'm really annoyed with myself because I I put it in the back of the car it's one of the last things we got put it in the back of the car and I kind of pressed it down into some curtains because I didn't want it to rattle around and managed to break it. So I'm hoping, because it's literally sheared right off, I'm hoping that Justin can do something because he does have a soldering iron. <laughs> He's quite handy, as you know, but it was, it was lovely. <laughs> it was lovely. This is Yugoslavian China, so it was nice before I broke it. So I'm really hoping that he'll be able to do something with that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, let's put that back up there. Because it obviously can't stand up for itself now. I need to take these apart anyway. So what did I get? So I must stop picking up teapots, honestly. I pick up so many teapots to sell in my shop and they do sell, but they don't sell quickly. And I've probably got enough tea sh teapots to last me a couple of years, but this is a Denby one. I can't remember what she was asking for it. Oh, they're... That, this one was, I think she charged me, I think she charged me four pounds for that and the plates. The other one was only two pounds, the one I broke, luckily. This one, I 
can't actually remember any of the prices now. This is one of the first things I bought. Maybe two pounds or maybe three, but it's lovely. I like Denby stuff. It's so solid and it doesn't look like it's been used much. Uh, it's in good condition and it's a nice colour. Unusual, the purple. I haven't seen that pattern before. So let's move it down there. I'm trying to be careful of the china as I pull out the other things. I got this because I find plus size clothing sells very well, although I don't sell much clothing now. I thought if I see any good stuff, I'll get it. But this is actually really nice. It's, it's too big for me, but I'm going to try it on anyway. It's a really big jumper dress. And I think it's uh, yours. Yeah, yours. They do a lot of uh, nice plus size clothing. It's a nice colour, real nice burgundy. And it's a long midi jumper dress and loose and kind of flattering. I actually think it's rather nice. I'll try it on. I think it's going to be too big for me though. Um, I think her clothing was two pounds. Pick this up for a pound just because honestly, how cute is it? It's a little child's Le Creuset apron. She charged me a pound for that. And it doesn't look like it's ever been used. I just thought it was cute. My, uh, that might end up with Justin's nieces, but there's two of them and only one apron. So maybe not. We'll see. Oh, this lady, oh my goodness, she was a really nice lady. She was probably in her, maybe her 70s, I would say. She, I picked up this handbag because I thought that looks really vintage. And it turned out it was really vintage because she said, I bought that to take away on my honeymoon. <laughs> and it's leather inside. You can't probably see that, but it's a kind of almost like a kid leather inside. So the patent will be leather as well. Can't see a make. She charged me, gosh, I think it was two or three, three pounds, I think it was. Three pounds. I bought two things from her though, so maybe not. I can't remember. I'll remember when I get the other one out. I'll try and think what. I remember giving her five pounds, so maybe three pounds, and then two pounds for the other thing. I can't remember what the other thing was, but I'll show you that when I get to it. But that's proper vintage. True vintage handbag. Very 1950s, early 1960s, I would say. And that's really good. I've no idea of the value of any of these things. Um, say, no, no, it wasn't the same lady, different lady. This was the same lady. The same lady had these. Dressing table set. And she charged me two pounds for those. And she said she got them for her 21st birthday. I said, I feel like I'm buying up your history. And she said, oh, I've got loads of them. So I don't need all of them. But they're like embroidered. They're really nice. So I, I think they're really nice. They're very heavy and metal as well, you know, good quality. None of this rubbish we get that's made in China these days. So if I get Timu, this was a John Lewis coat, size 14 from another lady. The price is on there, there you go. It's much better for my memory when I've got the price in front of me. Three pounds, it is a little bit kind of fluffy, but I've got a linen roller upstairs. I can sort that out. It's in really good condition. I check the armpits. I always do that now. I've been caught out like that before. Check the armpits, check the pockets. All in decent nick. Something I didn't look at. I wanted to see if it had any wool in it. It has. It's 70% wool, 30% polyamide. So that is a nice quality coat. So it needs a lint roller all over it. It looks like it's been sat with something a bit fluffy. And when you come into this house, everything ends up covered in cat hair. So I'm going to put that back in a, into my bag. I've got these for, they were a fiver. I've probably paid too much for these. They're St. Michael, made in the UK. And you know I like a vintage cottage curtain. But I have got quite a lot of these things now. They're not lined, but they are cotton. And they're quite long. Marks and Spencers. And they're a proper cottagey design. So I think they're nice. And they're, they're quite a big pair. And they, I guess, so they were a fiver. And I've got one more thing, I think. And then I got this, it looks, I don't know if this is vintage. It looks kind of vintage. A, um, like an eider down, country cottagey. It's not, actually proper patchwork, I don't think. And it is, it is proper patchwork. Oh yeah, it is proper patchwork, pink and green, which is totally my colours. Whether I'll keep it or not, I don't know, but it was only three pounds. And I thought it's a double, 
but you can't really go wrong three pounds for that i bought i thought i bought a plate from that lady as well so i've definitely got some other things somewhere which i will go and find in a minute i'm sure i've got some more things i definitely bought a plate from that lady i wonder if becky's taken that home or it's still in the back of the car i'll go and have a look in a minute but yeah, i'm trying to find if there's a make of this obviously i wash things like this even on somebody's bed but it is just an eider down i can't see a make at all feels like cotton though no, can't see a make. So they were definitely, I think they were quite popular in the 80s. Correct me if I'm wrong. Feels like an 80s piece, but it's very nice cottagey pink and green. So I like that as well. Goes quite well with those curtains, actually. I've got to go and see if I can find the last plate. I'm such a fool. I'm actually literally sitting on them. So got some more things here. I did have another bag of stuff. I picked up these. They're only a pound and they're cos. And cos, if you know, are very expensive. They don't look like they've been worn and washed much. So I'm trying these on. They're like a cotton linen blend, I reckon, without looking. Let's have a look. 25% linen. Viscose. Viscose and linen. So that's good because they, I mean, they are a bit screwed up, but linen screws up really badly I find and I just think although it's lovely it feels nice when you first put it on you always end up looking like a bag of rags as my mum would say so I'm going to try those on and hopefully they will fit me and oh, I've picked up this I love Bill Bailey it doesn't look like anyone's read it. it looks like one of those things that people give as a gift and then you don't read it and it's um his remarkable guide to happiness who doesn't need a guide to happiness so I love Bill Bailey, he's funny. And I, I just, I, I think that'll be great. I'm gonna read that and probably pass it on to somebody. These we picked up for me and Justin because honestly, I am very good at breaking wine glasses. Just standard wine glasses. I am very good at doing them. The John Lewis value range, but they're still John Lewis. So that's good. They're not those, I bought some recently. They, they were lovely, but they were so thin. They just broke constantly. And oh, there's the plate. <laughs> so I remember this plate. I like it because it's an Art Deco type design in the colouring. Um, it's JHW and Sons Hanley England Royal Falconware. Now I have not come across this before, but I have got similar designs. So I reckon that's sort of 1930s, maybe 1920s. And I love this shape. I think it's really nice. Um, I think it's cost me a pound, no, 50p, 50p from the same lady that I bought the duvet from, the Eiderdown from, and I thought that's just really a nice plate, so I got that. So that was everything, and then we went and had a cup of tea and a bit of cake in the community centre, which cost us pound fifty each, so it was just brilliant, it was lovely. I love a day like that where you're just strolling around, you get to see parts of a town that you would not see. We did do a lot of it walking and then we decided that the next stretch was quite a way away, so we did drive up to it and then drove around a little bit, but we did do quite a lot of walking, so I've got my steps in today. And you see bits of the village that you just wouldn't see because you drive through it. And this one in particular, I drive through quite often. There's a good pet store there that I go into, a nice independent one. And um, it's just nice. You go around the back and there's all these little thatched cottages and, and it's such a community event and people all chat to each other and they chat to you. And it's just really friendly. I love those kind of community events. So we had a really nice morning. Now I need to go and tidy this stuff up and tidy up the house and hoover whilst Archie is not here to get in the way. Something else I've been doing this week is experimenting with this book, Pinch of Non-Budget. So they're all calorie counted and delicious looking recipes. I was given this ages ago, I was actually gifted it. I, they gave me a couple and I offered one as a competition prize on Instagram, which is what they asked me to do. And the other one was for me. And I've never really looked at it because I was looking at doing keto and other sorts of diets. So I didn't really look at it, but the last couple of weeks I've actually been going back to counting calories because I just want to lose my belly and I'm not doing it any other way so I mean I am a terrible snacker and that is my problem so I think that um, I can build in some snacks if I do calorie counting and I've done a couple of honestly some, some lovely recipes in this book if you haven't got it and you want a bit of inspiration it's worth a look I did um, last night we had a risotto 
just made this risotto from Pinch of Non Budget Book. I've changed it slightly, but it actually looks banging. Looking forward to this. I did adapt it slightly. It was carbonara risotto and I was supposed to make it with gammon, but we had some leftover chicken thigh fillet. So I used that and a bit of bacon to get the carbonara sort of flavor. But other than that, oh, it was just yummy. We've got some leftover for lunch today. And tonight I'm gonna to make mushroom and spinach curry, which looks again, pretty delicious. Uh, there is cottage pie recipe, which is basically cottage pie, but you know, it's just got some changes to keep the fat and carbs a bit lower than normally they would be. And there's another recipe in here, which is just a very basic thing. It's the kind of thing I've make I make myself, which is pasta and bacon and peas and low fat soft cheese. And I've made that kind of before, but I think their quantities made it particularly delicious. So I'm making that again this week. So that's also on the meal plan. I haven't put any desserts on the meal plan, but I have to say they look really good. Um, we have, look at these, Neapolitan ice pops. And they contain a lot of bananas for each layer. So you've got a chocolate layer, which is a medium banana cocoa powder. The white layer is just the banana and the strawberry layer, strawberries and banana. So, um, but I just thought, oh, they don't they look good? So if you like bananas, they're an option. There's some few other things in here as well that look decadent as hell. But rather delicious. I mean, these are not low carb. These are 313 calories each. Creamy raspberry slices. I think they're not really much lower than anything else would be. But you've got lemon curd Swiss roll. That looks pretty good. And a slice of that is 126 calories, which is not bad, is it? So, oh god, these also look good. Cappuccino lava cakes. Oh, they look really good. They're making me hungry. <laughs> Shouldn't really look at these at breakfast time. I'll get back on with my smoothie. Anyway, just thought I'd show you that, show you what I've been eating. And me and Archie are going for a walk now. See you later. Lovely roses, aren't they gorgeous? Beautiful. Do you think, Arch? Look at this great freebie I just found. I don't think the solar bit works we can get a replacement it's really big it goes with our free goose swan and my dad's old lady from his garden I think it looks quite cool on Justin's little creation that he's made his little dry stone wall so I just went around to the co-op at exactly the right time for some really good reductions this salmon, reduced, I would never have paid £5.75 for two tiny little salmon steaks. 86p is fine. Easy might like these, not my sort of thing. Beef kebabs, they were 53p, reduced from 3.50. Some barbecue pork fillets, 56p, reduced from 3.75. And two packs of these baby potatoes reduced from £1.19 to 18p so those will last in the fridge anyway and the rest of it's going to go in the freezer so i'm back weren't they good reductions they were amazing i obviously need to make a point of getting off my backside at about half past eight and getting into the co-op from now on to get all my food reduced i do realize it looks like i only have one outfit in my life because this is what i was wearing when i went to the garage sale becky gave me this really cozy cardigan i've been wearing it loads it's just warm enough to keep the summer chills off but not too warm like a winter coat anyway i'm going to go and get on now get those photographed all those things get the listings finished and just generally do a bit of a tidy up downstairs I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you know next time I'm going to publish a video. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.